Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transverse Truck Trailer RV. Again, my name is Marlon Bledman. For all those tuning in for the first time, we at Transwest on the truck department. Um, in our videos, we always say we're taking trade-ins. We do sell our new freight liners, which is on the M2 chassis. We do the M2106s and the M2112s. And from time to time, again, we have our RV department and we do have our horse trailer department here in Frederick. And sometimes we do get a lot of vehicles here on trade. Um, so some of the times we, especially trucks and uh, uh, bigger SUVs and stuff like that, we typically try to hold them in store and bring them out here to sell. So today behind me, I got a 2020 Ram 2500. This one, as you can see, is lifted and it is on a four inch lift. So that's some of the you know inventory that we get in from time to time um, when it comes to the trading stuff. So again, we're gonna take a look around this unit. Uh, again, this one is lifted. So when it comes to the bed aspect of things, uh, it'll be a little bit too high to kind of haul something from the back end. But again, this one does come with that bumper pull hitch to allow you to pull um, something behind this truck. But again, looking at this truck from the front end, uh, you do have that Ram logo, LED headlamps. Uh, it does have that um, night, daytime running lights, which Ram does an amazing job. That's one of the things I love about Ram, the way they design the running, uh, daytime running lights. But this one does come in fog lights as well. And again, this one does, is equipped with front and rear sensors. As you guys can see, those little circles you will see on, the, on those bumpers will carry that sensor. Again, tow hooks. As we come around here, we're gonna go underneath the hood. And as I open that up, guys, it's a little bit on the taller end, but you could actually see from the side view um, what's underneath there. And you guys are looking at the 6.7 Cummins engine. And Cummins has been around for many, many, many years. And it's one of those better engines that um, Ram believe in. We believe in, in our Freightliners as well. And you're looking at a six-speed automatic transmission as well. 370 horsepower and about 850 foot-pounds of torque. Really, really awesome uh, partnership there with, with that six-speed and the Cummins engine. Again, there is a lot of things in here that you could typically check, like your um, window washer wiper fluid, your the transmission fluid, I'm not transmission fluid, but sorry, your um, power steering fluid, again, your radiator fluid, you know, little things like that you can check. But again, when units come to our shop, we run it, we run it through a PDI process or a UVI process, which is a used vehicle inspection. And we take it to our local dealerships in town, Clinton, the guys at Dodge here in town, took care of this vehicle for me when it came in. So I want to thank those guys for always, uh, you know, taking me in when I need vehicles in. But coming on here, looking at the tires and the rims, that upgrade yet, uh, you have the Hokuma uh, tires. Uh, you have here, where we at? 37 by 12.5, R20s. Again, and looking at the back here, you have fork shocks on all four corners of this unit. Looking at those badges, a little bit of an upgrade here. Uh, you kind of black those out a little bit. You have the 2500 heavy duty. You got the Cummins turbo diesel engine sticker here. And of course that Ram logo on the side here. Previous customer opted to just have the fixed running boards. Um, again, this is a little jump to go inside. Again, you could upgrade this to the power running boards, which will actually sit down a couple more inches to head, you know, to allow you to go in and out of this truck. But a lot of people does, um, do love the you know, the fact that it could actually jump in that truck. So let's take a look at the front end, um, driver's seat. This unit could sit six people, as you could see in the middle seat or the middle area here, could become an armrest with storage and cup holders, or you could pull it up to create another seat. But underneath that seat, you do have extra storage as well. So a nice little um, hidden feature right here. And again, you do have your area here for storage. It does have a USB port in here as well and three cup holders. But leather seats, it is a Laramie edition. Uh, so you do have some leather seats in the front, uh, powered driver seat with lumbar. Again, pedal parking brake, push the release. It does have those blue light highlights throughout the, the front end, but you kind of really see it um, in the light. Maybe if we angle it a little bit on the side here. 
you do have that accent here but again all your light options I typically like to put it in auto all your demon switches here this one does have electrical pedals and of course uh, really good sound on the door here you have your power windows power locks powered mirrors this one does come with that folding mirror uh, feature as well and that feature works very good with bigger trucks like this from the 2500 up to the 3500s the, the, the length of the mirrors are a little bit longer than normal so you tend to get a lot of uh, damaged mirrors especially in parking lots so a lot of people tend to close those mirrors whenever they exit that vehicle especially in parking lots but going in the back end it is a crew cab so you have tons of uh, room in the back um, I, I laid this board down on the bottom again if you don't want to use the bed for storing stuff or your animals or whatever uh, ram comes with this board that comes in flat you do have a extra piece here and as you guys can see with this fold down uh, it does have legs here for support but once it's closed down you have a flat surface throughout that back end instead of having that hump in that middle this helps with that uh, feature but underneath that you do have storage and then underneath on the other side is your subwoofer it does have a little clip here that's why this is not opening for me right away but it does have a clip here to kind of lock this in place but in the back end you do have uh, two USB ports and a 110 plug-in really nice feature here for your passengers and again this just folds down and in that center you do have a armrest with cup holders as well so you got cup holders throughout this vehicle your diesel and death tank is located on the driver's side bed and I love when the diesel and death tank is on the same area not in the not underneath the hood because sometimes you spill it's very hard to clean in there and with the death fluid it does crystallize and causes that you know white crystal look in the back and underneath the hood so most times you have to wash it out a lot so having it right there makes it easy to clean off um, very easily so again the rear sensors you do have that bumper pull hitch again you could do one of those adjustable hitches that will actually come down depending on your height of your trailer but again for your trailer you do have your seven pin and your four pin hookup over here this is the laramie so he did upgrade those badges and of course four by four and that ram sign this one that's coming for a rare camera soft release tailgate fully spray bed line as you guys can see it does have that rear window it doesn't come in for sunroof but that rear window does come in very handy i'm um, taking it from a side view here passenger side view i'm just going to show you guys what that underneath here looks like again this is all equipped with your subwoofer and your amplifier everything in one here so it makes it easy for servicing your sound system but again hopefully jody could uh <laughs> jump inside <laughs> so we're going to check out the interior of this unit and coming in here the vehicle is actually running if you guys didn't hear a very quiet you know for a truck um, i really like the sound of it but again this one doesn't have that full big big screen that a lot of people love but again this is the medium size screen that dodge provides in those trucks big enough for everything that you need again this one does not come equipped with navigation onboard navigation but it does have apple and android capability so you do have that feature on here but when it comes to entertainment am fm and satellite radio when it comes to the media you could actually pay your phone via bluetooth for entertainment with music on your phone with your climate control you could do it manually up here or via touchscreen or you could do it manually down here um, with all the buttons down here you do have heated front seats heated steering wheel for the driver of course um, th three different options for your heated seats um, all your your cab ac and, and heat um, features over here um, you do have onboard trailer brake again normally those bigger trucks does come with that so um, it's typically 
um, set with those. On the 1500s, that's where you kind of like have to play it. You know, some of them come with it, some of them don't. You have to add an aftermarket um, trailer brake. But again, it all depends on the trim level you go to. It will have onboard um, trailer brake. But with the 2500s and above, it comes automatic because those trucks are meant to pull. So um, you do have that feature here. You do have an exhaust brake. Um, you have your full exhaust brake on. Um, you have an automatic exhaust brake. So you have two options here, or you could just turn it off. So while you um, using the switch here, you will find a notification up here on your screen that will actually show you where your exhaust brake is automatic or fully on. But right next to it, you got a tow on haul here, and then you have your front and rear sensors off switch. So if in case you do not want those switches on, you could actually turn it off. And again, it will notify you up front when those um, switches are activated. This is a four wheel drive, so you do have your four high, four low, and your two wheel drive feature up here. It is a push to start, and of course your gas stick is up here. Um, you do have your park, reverse. Since we're in reverse, I'm gonna show you guys what that rear camera looks like. Really nice view here. You could actually zoom in if you need to, and that will give you a view of your bumper pull hitch, especially when you're backing into your trailer. But a nice view here. Clies are, the skies are clear today, the sun is out. I'm wearing short sleeves so you can know we got some beautiful weather in Colorado today. Uh, going back in park, we'll set that back up here. But you do have options here, different options when it comes to your apps. You, you know, you could go for, um, a, a, instead of putting the vehicle in reverse, you could go into your apps and uh, get, get your camera. You have features here, you have your audio settings and a ton of different features on here. So on this steering wheel, uh, you do have your volume controls on your right hand side and on your left hand side, you could change tracks. Um, there was buttons behind the steering wheel um, where I'm pointing right now, which makes it easy so you don't have to go to your screen to actually activate anything. So um, everything is right there in, in the palm of your hands. Uh, you have your cruise control here. You got your toggle switch for your front uh, view here. And you do have your hands free calling as well. So you could actually answer your phone calls and end it right here on the steering wheel. But again, I mentioned, you know, um, it does have that rear window. So this is a switch for that. All your light options here to turn on your reading lights or if you want to turn on all the lights um, or turn it off when um, your vehicle, once the doors are closed. You do have universal garage control switches up here. You got a visor with a mirror with a light. Some of them does come with lights, some of them don't. But again, I was talking to a customer previously and he was on his Bluetooth and he was mentioning that, oh, you know, I'm trying to talk to you on my Bluetooth and whatever. I'm like, look above your head. You know, they're actually, you know, little vents up here. Um, some of those vents um, is that microphone for, you know, when you're talking into your phone. So um, that's a nice little feature a lot of people didn't know. But again, really, really handy when it comes to that. This truck has 60,000 miles, 60,387 miles. We do have prices online on Auto Trader. Feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions about this truck or any other vehicle we have on our lot. Um, we had two pickups. One, one should be going today, and this one is available still. So give me a call today if you guys are interested. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. I will be back with you guys on Monday. Larry will be with you guys for another video tomorrow. But again, if you guys have any questions and have any, um, yeah, any questions about this vehicle, give me a call today and uh, or any day and uh, let me know what those questions are and we'll answer that. Thank you guys for tuning in today and I'll see you guys next time.